Hi, I'm Bob Ancher, Senior Editor of CE Pro Magazine, and today I am with Rusty Waite of KRA USA. Rusty, how are you doing today? Awesome, Bob. Uh, I hope you are doing the same. Awesome. I'm doing great as well. Beautiful weather out there, and it uh, looks like we're finally in the start of summer with no COVID um, limitations or restrictions, so it's a good day. Time will tell, um, It's, uh, but it is exciting for everybody. Yes, of course. Yeah, yeah. Um, I'd like to talk to you today about K-Array and some of the technologies uh, the company uses and how they apply to a residential home environment. Um, getting right into this, uh, what are the differences between point source and the line source speaker technologies that K-Array uh, uses uh, for uh, many of its products within its designs? So, you know, it's... It's all about physics and really it's about where you need sound in the home uh, and in some areas in the home you're going to require something like a point source solution and in some areas uh, a line source will be much better. Uh, the reason being so a point source is you know something a little bit more louder in the foreground um, and, a, and a line source will throw the sound further than a point source system will. So depending on what it is and, and which room as I said before could really dictate um, you know, which type of uh, product is best suited for that application. Um, you know, so with K-Array, we, we're a little bit unique in the way that we actually apply these, um, these two uh, philosophies or these two um, technologies. So you know, a lot of our stuff is, we're known as the guys that provide discrete speakers, very heavily design focused. I mean, all of our stuff is, is designed and built in Italy. Um, and it's, you know, coming from Italy, it's very important. Design is key. Um, but then also we come from a pro audio background. So providing really top quality sound is paramount. It's the same. It has the same importance to us as the design. So, you know, we have some more flexibilities when we're using line sources because our speakers can be smaller. Um, and, you know, we can, we can get away with manipulating, you know, we're not, we're not creating anything new. I mean, as I st started this whole answer, I mean, it, it is physics. So it's all about applying that in a way and making sure that, you know, we have, we, we want to provide the end user with a full immersive audio experience. And in some ways, you know, point source just can't do it. And in other ways, a line source. So, you know, just. Just to give you a, a, a small little example, consider yourself sitting in a garden and you know the speakers, rather than you could have a point source approach where you'd have multiple speakers in a distributed architecture around the yard, or you could have a couple of line source speakers that are gonna provide the same sound and just throw further. Both are trying to give an immersive um, feel, uh, but you know, it depends on the distances that you're working with and your desired SPL um outcomes of it so you know we all are trying to achieve the best sound that we can um but we just have some tricks up our sleeves uh, you know and being able to design with the smaller speakers and uh you know and giving that audio straight into the space where it's desired to be okay Russ, what, what are the benefits of using line arrays in home theaters including immersive audio environments with, with uh, formats like Dolby Atmos and DTS X? It's a very good question. I mean, you know, again, for us, uh, you know, being discreet is a huge advantage. You know, traditionally, home theaters have always been with a perforated screen. The speakers would be behind the screen, left, center, right, you know, um, types. But now with the advent of LED screens getting bigger and bigger and coming into the home and, you know, people wanting 4K and some, you know, even discussing now 8K resolution, uh, you got a problem because you can't put speakers behind that screen. So it changes things a lot. So now what do you need to do is you need to provide discrete speakers that complement the screen. So, you know, when I'm talking about that, like from a KRA's perspective, that's a discrete speaker. Right. And so uh, same thing, we might get a little bit bigger. That's a discrete speaker. You know, it can be on the left and right of your screen. So it's. Uh, Excuse me, Rusty. Uh, could you tell me what model speakers those are? OK, I'm sorry. So that's our that's our little lizard um, speaker. So it has four half inch transducers in it. OK, so it's really pretty well 
the smallest line source speaker available on the market. And yeah. talk about discreet, even my wife likes it. <laughs> so, you know, this one here being the Viper, you know, and we've, we've put these in, or dealers of ours have put these into uh, home theaters. You, you've heard of the Samsung wall before, you know, the whole point of that wall is to fill the wall with picture. So where do you put the speakers? Well, so you have to be very discreet about it and you need to be putting them into areas that can still fill the room with sound because that's what we're trying to do. So, you know, and for us, intelligibility is key. How many times have you been in a theater where perhaps, you know, I can use, use my mother as an example. So her hearing is not at the same level as my hearing. So she has a harder time hearing things. So when you're delivering intelligibility into an area where everybody's sitting, you don't have to be as loud, you know, because you're reaching the actual um, person in that theater. And if you're building a larger theater, which some people are these days, you know, then you need to be accounting for that. And you need to be, you can't just put in point source speakers into a large theater, turn it up louder. Because <laughs> the people in the front are going to get a lot different experience than the people in the back. And we're trying to equalize that. And we're trying and to make it to be consistent no matter where you're sitting in the theater. Okay. Um, based on that now that we've talked about what uh, a line, line array is um, or a line source and um, uh, how it applies to a home theater environment, what best practices or tips do you have for dealers to implement uh, line sources within a home theater environment? Well, I think, again, paramount, or what's really key is the left center right, okay? And to me, it's the center channel. So if we start with the center channel, you know, that's key because that's really what everybody's looking for, that's the dialogue, you know? Um, and to get that to throw in an area, so imagine again, uh, let's take the wall as an example. So where do you put that center channel? Well, you know, we, we implement uh, solutions also with companies such as Trinoff, who have a cinema processor, and enabling us to, to build a phantom center. So, and we put the, the speakers just underneath, kind of looking like a sound bar type, but then we also put another one on the top of the screen. And, you know, that way then we can use that processor to kind of line everything up and, and enable, so that full, that full immersive experience that you're looking for when you go into a cinema. And, you know, being, again, I, I know I keep repeating myself a little bit here, but I think it's, it's key. Being discreet is, you know, what people are looking for. They don't want to have a screen or, or a room full of black boxes, you know. They're, they're a little less sensitive to the ones in the back, you know, or overhead. And, you know, we can implement different technologies there. But I think it's really key with the front ones. And then, you know, let's talk about the low frequencies a little bit, you know. So that's a different scenario. You're trying to give, you know, a low frequency is more of an omni radiating source and you're trying to fill a room with that low frequency and you can place those uh, subwoofers in, in a different area or in the wall. You know, we make some really nice in wall 18 inch uh, subwoofer solutions, but it's that getting that that key sort of the voice and getting that into the key areas of the room. Um, you know, so that people don't have a hard time hearing it and can enjoy it the same way as their neighbors, you know, that's key. And, you know, the difference, again, what people don't understand, or I think what we spend a lot of time training people on is that the SPL output of something like this, which is the lizard again, okay, is going to be different than the SPL output of the Viper. Okay, and, and I think that if you're, you're looking to, if you like to listen to things loud, then you need to get a little bit bigger. But at the same time, we try to still remain in that sort of discrete channel where you're not being obtrusive and, you know, taking over the whole room just for the speakers. And you, that way you can kind of fit in with the, the, the decor. So designers love KRA because they can. And, you know, we can provide these speakers in any different color, you know, if you want them in, in a, you know, we do have little swatches where you can, you know, get any different color of the speaker that you want. Um, you know, so we do provide that type of service as well. And that kind of really then blends into the rest of the decor of that room. And people are really proud to show it off. And, you know, when you come up with a little gold speaker, you know, like this one here, you know, people want to show it off to their friends and say, hey, have a look at this. And that's, you know, where KRA does have some advantages over some other solutions. 
Okay, Rusty. Uh, does KRE offer uh, support in terms of system design, sales, and technical support to help dealers sell, uh, design, and install these systems? Absolutely. I mean, you have to so think about KRA, or, or, or let me explain a little bit. So KRA is, is a family-run business out of Tuscany, Italy, all right? So we're, we're not a huge conglomerate, you know, and we pride ourselves in actually where our dealers, we know them on a first name basis and we have relationships with them and they'll throw us designs of what they're trying to do and we'll work with them to try to give them the best solution for that room, you know? So it's, that's, that's one advantage too, you know, I think that they, you know, we have all the tools and through all through COVID, you know, uh, where everybody was in a lockdown, us, just like many other manufacturers, we turn to Zoom calls and videos and, you know, training programs. So, you know, we've designed a certified designer course now where you can get into KRE a little bit more. You can, you know, it's a long course, but you can do it over time and snip bits and then we'll have like a Q&A and then we'll do a, a quiz based on it so that you can become certified uh, designer for KRA. And we do the same on the installation side. So, you know, a lot of our more on the commercial side of things, um, you know, end customers are asking for, you know, the installs to be only done by a certified, um, a KRA certified installer. So those things are important, you know, and you can have your, your credentials in and you've had the training from us. And, I, you know, I think then at that point, everybody wins because the, the dealer is understanding how we work. We work tightly with them. You know, I have a team here in the U.S., um, that we, we, we run with those designs together with the dealer and we try to educate on that front. If it's a bigger project and we need some more assistance, we can pull it in from Italy and they'll help too. So, you know, we are a team, a close knit team. It's a family run business and we pride ourselves again on, on having that direct relationship with, uh, with our dealers who then can actually feel supported when they go to their customers and, and you know, pr um, suggest a KRA solution. Okay, Rusty, where can dealers go to learn more about KRA? So you can obviously hop onto our website as the first uh, instance, you know, that's, that's www.k-array.com. And, um, and from there, you know, we have also a lot of playlists through YouTube. We've done a lot of YouTube videos. So you can have a look at our different technologies. Um, as in some of them that we've touched on today, and then even more, you can take a deeper dive. Um, and then, you know, we also have all of our marketing material available on issue.com. Um, you know, so all of our brochures or product, you know, just pop us an email at sales.usa uh, at karray.com and we'll help out from there. We can start a relationship that way. Awesome. Thank you, Rusty, for taking time out of your day to speak to CE Pro and myself. Yeah, I always love having uh, having these interviews with you, Bob. So, you know, you're asking the right questions and I feel, I hopefully we've been able to, to help some people understand a little bit more and, um, you know, about KRA. And I appreciate you guys taking the time to do this. Thank you. And Rusty, have a great day. Thank you. Bye.